Hello, this is Principles of Entrepreneurship, Management 3802, and today we're going to be talking about channels, revenue, and cost. So on the high level, the channels is, or when we're talking about the channels on the link canvas, we are talking about how will you reach your customers, right? That's, that's the high level um, question you should be answering at a bare minimum. On the revenue, we want to know how much will you charge for your product or service. So we want to know how will you charge, how often you think you're going to sell, and all that kind of stuff, right? And then on the cost, uh, the easiest way to come up with cost um, numbers is to try to make a break-even point. So let's talk about channels. You know, how do you reach your customers? So when you have an idea you want to reach your customers you basically have two ways of reaching your customers you go either directly or you go indirectly so when you reach them directly is that you are talking to them one-on-one -on -one or someone from, from your company is talking to them one-on-one -on -one and you're trying to make the sales uh, like that and another example would be if you have your own website and you manage the website you're selling directly to consumers, right? This is how Dell got successful to begin with because before you have to go through retail channels to buy a computer. The innovation that Dell created is that they sold directly to consumers and they got famous because of that. The indirect sales is, again on the Dell example, is competition from Dell. All of them were selling through a retailer or through a distributor. So when that happens, you add cost to your product, but you're able to reach more people. So let's say if you if you partner with Walmart, you're gonna reach the whole United States overnight, right? So it's not your Salesforce, it's Walmart for uh, Salesforce, and they're selling for you. So that's an indirect channel. Another thing to consider is that you can own the channel or you could partner with somebody already or who already has a channel, right? So if you own a channel, we go back to the, um, to the Salesforce. So if you're trying to start uh, to sell a drug, you could you know, hire your own people and go doctor to doctor and sell your, the drug, or you can partner with a company like Johnson & Johnson and they will have a Salesforce already trained ready to push anything down the down, down down to the doctors right so that will be a partnership that you will make with them and you'll benefit or, or both will benefit another channel uh, is that you could have your channel free or you could have a paid channel so free channels are anything that you can get for free that will put your name out there so it could be social media it could be interviews on TV, interviews on the radio, it could be blog posts on your company, it could be newspapers, articles about your company. So all these things are free. You don't have to pay for them in most of the, ca most of the cases. And you still get the benefit. When it comes to paid, it's basically paid advertisement, right? It's what we think about when we think about ads. We're thinking about TV advertise commercials. We're thinking about radio advertisement, billboard advertisement, flyers advertisement, uh, online advertisement through Facebook, through Google, through Bing, uh, or Yahoo. So all these things are the paid versions, right? And then you have a channel could be an inbound channel or an outbound channel. So when we're talking about outbound channels, it's normal advertisement. So if you are advertising through TV, that's an outbound channel because you're putting the message out there, broadcasting it to people, hoping somebody will find and call you. So that those are outbound. Cold calling, you know, flyers, commercials, all that is outbound advertisement. With the internet, we have this new thing called inbound advertisement or inbound, inbound channels or inbound marketing. Basically what this means is that you write content that's gonna attract people looking for a certain product or service and 
with this, uh, you will be able to transform this person or put this person into your sales pipeline. In other words, an inbound advertisement, the way it works is, let's say you're searching on Google for coffee shops in Gainesville. If somebody has written an article about the best coffee shops in Gainesville, then you probably are going to read that and you'll go to one of these coffee shops because of the recommendation that this person gave on the internet, right? So even though the, the coffee shop wasn't putting the article there, you probably made the decision as a consumer to go and actually um, uh, spend money on one of these establishments because of the blog post. So that's what inbound marketing is. So now the question is, when you're starting, what type, what is the best channel for your company, right? When you are just setting up a company, how, which channels do you want to attack or use to reach your customers? So most people think the first thing everybody says, oh, I have a new business. Everybody should know. Let me put an ad on the TV or on the radio, right? And I normally go against that thinking because those ads are very expensive and it's very, very hard to track and, and, and know how effective they were. Instead, remember when you start a company, around only 5% of people will actually be your customers. So we know this because of the technology diffusion um, curve. So you need to keep that in mind and really try to target niche markets where you're going to get um, a lot of exposure for all these advertisement that you're getting or at least you're going to get a bigger segment of the market N not of the general market but of the of you of those early innovators and er um, early customers that you need to get so that's why i always recommend when it's we're talking about startups you want to be doing something like advertisement on niche publications like you know um if you're starting a a technology um a biotechnology company then you might want to you know go to conferences uh, where you're going to find doctors who can use your product or you want to go or you want to be published in certain publications like scientific uh, america or different articles or different magazines like that that scientists are going to read right so that's that's why you need to know the market and that's why before you get to channels you had to fill out the link canvas and fill out the customer segment so you can understand how to reach to this market